Yes. Oh, this is the last day of the year, Shannon. <laughs> wow. Shannon, it's, it's right? It's the last day of the year? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to live stream. Uh, it's what day? What day is it, you guys? Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday. What is the date? Help me out. Is it December? Yes. December what? Let me look. Let me cheat cheat. Please. Thursday, 3 0, December 2020. One. Good job, Tegan. Tegan's in next year in, in two more days, right? What? 2022. 2022. Again, you guys, welcome and thank you for tuning in. You at home here at Elwyn, we appreciate you guys taking the time. If you notice, we are still wearing our masks. And Vanessa, come show me. You have a glove on. Well, you did have gloves on. And um, she has a different mask on, too. There's a handful of different masks. Um, Katie, can you come in here real quick? Come here. Uh, yeah. I have a, what is it, an MK95? N95? Yeah. And then Katie. Hi, Katie. Claire, good morning. Great. And then she has a, a special safe extra mask on. Thank you so much. Do you feel safe here, Katie? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, go ahead and sit down. We appreciate your help. And then, um, Jolie, do you want to say hi and show us your mask? Okay, thank you. We're all making sure we're extra safe, and I just want to share with you guys all the different masks and the varieties. Again, we're social distancing, and then we also have our mask here. Whatever mask you feel comfortable, but we definitely, the staff are wearing the um, the KN95. The KN95s, and then the clients are wearing shields or these or the KN95s, but we all are social distancing and wearing masks still to this day and always. Thank you so much. All right, well, let's get started. And I like your ski parka. So cute. You want to put the hood up? Show us. Keep your ears warm. So cute. Oh, my gosh. That's the perfect segue into our, our day of snow. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Jolene, have you been to the snow? Yes or no? No. No. I think you should go. I think you guys should take a plan, uh, a day to carefully drive up to, to uh, Big Bear, to Wrightwood, to... Best lines, the closest one. Yes, Tegan. I've been to Big Bear when I was little. Perfect. I love that. I'm sure you were safe because you made it back here to Elwyn. Safe. Yep. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, well, let's jump right in. Um, let's see. So, raise of hands. I see a few friends here because it's the almost uh, end of the new year. How many friends have actually been in the snow, felt the snow? seen it fall down, felt it on their foreheads, on their noses. Who has seen and been in the snow? Okay, okay, two or three of us, wow, wow. So is it warm or cold? What, talk to me. Cold. Yeah, but you know what's really interesting is it actually isn't as cold as a cold day. It's very strange, I don't know all the dynamics of that, I'm not. <coughs> A weather girl, but it, it is very interesting. But um, do you know what I learned when I was skiing and playing a lot in the snow for quite a few seasons? Your heat goes out of your head. Wow. Do you guys know that? That's why ski jackets, like Jolene was showing us, have hoods. So your ears and your head stay warm. So it's really important, your heat, keep your head warm. That's why you'll see people wear beanies, or hats, I know Tim has a few. I know a few of our friends here have them. And on cold, cold days, you put them on to keep your ears. And um, they're also pretty cool and fashionable. Yes, Mac, do you have a no, UCLA we're, we're, one? We what? Right before you snow, so we had. Yeah, right before the snow, you wore a hat? But I did that to you. So who you go with? Well, family, yeah. you know, my father and, and family, and yeah, oh, yeah, it's always important to go with someone that you know can drive in the so snake, uh, safe. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then, um, okay, so what we're showing you a picture of right here 
Matter of fact, can you show me a picture of my family, Vanessa? Is there, I'm not sure if I sent that email to you or not, but yay, there's my dad. So my myself and my dad, and his name is Jim Burns, and um, let's see, I was probably about 20 there, and I am 5-0, so what is that? 30 years ago. Wow. 30 no, years ago, really? that's me. So my dad always took me skiing, and um, I, I'm very, very grateful for him. And if you can see, that's in the top of the High Sierra Heavenly Ski Resort. And behind us is South Lake Tahoe. That's on Lake Tahoe, the snow? Yeah. So um, we took a, uh, took a photo, so I'm really grateful of that photo. And he was a ski patrolman, which uh, when you see them on the slopes, they're there to keep you safe. They wear red jackets like my sweater now, and um, it's pretty it's pretty wonderful. So he taught me all my skills and safety on the slopes. We'll go into that maybe a little bit later. So there's my dad, and I'm grateful for him, and I just think it's a super great sport. And if you notice, maybe we're not social distancing because we probably didn't have to back then, and never mind that I don't have a hat on because it was a beautiful sunny day. But can you see that there's not many people around? It's a really nice, calming, um, individual sport. It is something that you can do individually by yourself and and just enjoy the peacefulness and your own and your own time to yourself. And then um, meet with other people at the end. Okay, so let's go to here. Let's go to the gear. You know, never mind what I'm wearing. <laughs> let's go right here. Oh my goodness, you definitely have to layer. Do you ever hear your family say, cover your elbows, wear long sleeves when it's cold? Layer, I have a shirt on, I have a couple shirts on, and a little poncho sweater. I see our friends, and maybe at home, you guys are under a blanket. You have a few layers on. I see jackets. I see a couple of elbows, because maybe you're running a little warm. But we have layers on. Vanessa, I, th I think I see you wearing layers. Kind of, it's yeah. a good thing. As you get warm, you can take them off. Here at the ski lodge as well, you want to prepare for the cold. And then as the day gets warmer, you can peel your layers off, leave them in the ski lodge when you go get a little hot cocoa, maybe a grilled cheese, recharge. Put it in your locker nice and safe and go back go back up and be safe but you always want to have your jacket and you always want to have your gloves whether it's mittens or gloves you know the difference of a mitten a mitten your fingers are all enclosed a glove your fingers are open always want to have those hands covered and then pants, they have to be waterproof. Do you know what that means? Hello. So if you're out in the rain and rain or snow sprinkles on your pants or when you fall in the snow, it doesn't get wet. So that's waterproof. And then because the snow, well, thanks so much. Because the snow is so bright, there's a glare. And we want to protect our eyes. And if we're going fast or if it is snowing, you don't want um, things in your eyes. Have you ever been in the car with the window rolled down and you blink a lot because the wind? You might want to put goggles on or if you're fortunate. Right, Matt? Look at you. He puts his glasses on. <coughs> Matt, Matthias, you have your glasses on. It's for safety. You want that glare to protect your eyes. And then again, there's also a helmet. There's, also, there's a rule now. It's that bike rule. And um, Jillian, our case manager, just came in. So I don't know if she'll want to come on the screen, but maybe in the back she can ask. She has an awesome little shredder, little one. What is the age with the bike? Is it 9 and under or 14 and under that have to wear a helmet? You know, I don't know. I'm going to Google that. I, I think <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a younger age that you have to wear a helmet. And then if the, if the product or the motor vehicle is a motor, then you have to wear a helmet. But with skiing is the same thing. It, you do have to wear a helmet now 
at an age. If you notice, I was not wearing a helmet. I wanted to be fashionable. Wouldn't you want to be Tegan? Fashionable. Hello? I don't want to ruin your... Under okay, so under 18, helmet. Over 18, you risk your own life. <laughs> fashion, fashion over, <laughs> fashion over protection, people. Okay, so Tegan, do what I say, not what I do. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's the gear. And we're really focusing on, at this point, the snowboarding. Snowboarding is like a skateboard. You actually lock your feet into the binders, your goofy foot. I know it sounds strange, but whatever your, if you're right-handed, does everyone draw with their right hand? Who, show me what hand you draw with. You at home, if you guys are drawing, raise your hand that you're drawing with. I'm a right-handed girl. Okay. 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 Travis, do you write with your right hand or left hand? Left hand? Left hand. Travis, you're an awesome special gentleman. So then, if there's any awesome special men or women around the house, if you guys are at home watching, that's fantastic. So your goopy foot, when you lock in the binders, it depends on which way you're safe. You want to make sure you tell the person that's building your skis to make sure you're facing the right way, that you're more strong-legged and comfortable. Same way with surfing, skateboarding, all that good stuff. But if you notice, I'm skiing. There's two skis. That means each leg is, I can distribute my weight to the right and to the left. My knees, my hips, my ankles are all free to help me maneuver around the moguls and the slopes and all that good stuff. Tegan, can you move your feet, your gorgeous shoes? Okay, now, can you guys lift both your feet up together? It's a lot harder, isn't it? Snowboarding, I think, is a little bit harder. But again, I think that when you grow up with snowboarding, it becomes extremely natural. So it, it, I'm just biased to the, the skiing. All right, so moving up, if you see this, these gentlemen or women, I shouldn't be. I know it sounds really funny, but if you, as a skier, there were colors that we always wanted to wear. Brighter colors were girls, darker colors were boys. That doesn't work that way anymore. It's just awesome is awesome. So it didn't matter. So um, with these skiers, I'm noticing that they look pretty darn good. I'll, I'll explain to you guys. We have red light, green light, yellow light that you see access, cabs, families, loved ones drive us. That's how you determine right when to stop, when to go, when to hustle through that before it turns red. We have that here on the slopes as well. Black diamond, double diamond, triple dog diamond, rope toe, things we you know go from there. So we have directions on the slopes as well. These guys look like they kind of know what they're doing, but they might be underage. So are they wearing helmets or are they wearing snow gear? What are they wearing? Helmets. So they're being extra safe because they're probably going really fast. They look like they're going really fast. And I don't see a lake and I see that snow ungroomed, which tells me it's virgin snow, which tells me no machine or no human product has been through it to groom it. So they're plowing through it. So it's pretty cool. So they're fortunate. So that's pretty fantastic. I'm, I'm kind of excitedly jealous. Okay, what other pictures do we have up here? What do we got? What do we got? Ski helmets, goggles, we poles. You guys see this? What are poles for? Help me out. What do you guys think of poles for? To poke someone, get out of the way, social distance. What do you guys think? Social distance. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a good idea, especially nowadays. Anyone else? Yes. Help you. Okay. It's not. That would be super rude, unsafe, and sorry. A social distance. Okay, we already mentioned that, so thank you again for helping. But it really is to distribute your weight, balance, and actually also when you're on a flat surface. Because not every bit of snow is on a hill. Because you can't, you can't pick up your feet and walk. 
You, I mean, I guess you can, but they're about, skis are about as tall as your head. It takes about a foot over your head. Just take a minute. Okay. So if I'm five feet, the skis I'll purchase are six. You don't want to purchase skis under your body height. You need to be a little bit higher. Then with ski bowls, you can just kind of push yourself. Just give a little push. So it works out pretty good. Also helps you get out the ski lift, which we talked about the other day. And um, yeah, so good with balance and distribution when you're going through the moguls. Push off the in-betweens, off the tops. You don't want to go through them. You want to go over them. I know it's some. Yeah. Anyway, so pulls are good for balance. Helps you line up. It's just pretty fantastic. So well, let's see. Groups of lessons. My favorite. Okay. Um, I was PSIA instructor for seven years. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, every year at South Lake Tahoe, gosh, I think it was... 1990 to just under 1998. Um, you have to try. You have to try out. I don't know if you guys ever signed up for a ball team and maybe had to try out or um, and and it's very nerve wracking. Like oh gosh, I hope the coach picks me or things like that. But um, I wasn't the first pick, but I got picked out of 500 people and it was super great. And um, so I was a teacher to uh, um, other people that were interested to take lessons. Um, good money and super fun. So I got to be outside and socialize and dress up and look fashionable, right, Tegan? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with lessons, right now, well, back then they're probably $40, but nowadays when we were looking at it, it's about $70, which that would totally get you to Africa. Why? I think it's like $700. I, well, no, but I mean, you can save up much better. Yeah, I yeah, can. For sure. So, um, the other benefit, I think, with ski lessons is if you're with a ski instructor, you know, there's a ratio, one to six. I think there's actually one to 12. Or a group of family. You can bump the lines. I, I don't know if you guys all know that. But there's long lines, like a Disneyland. You're waiting in line, you're waiting in line, it's so much fun, and then you see someone that holds up a pass and they walk right by you, and you're like, oh, come on, they have a pass. There's something that they get to do that we didn't sign up for. When you're with a lesson, you guys get to sign up for bumping the lines. It's a really cool, fun thing. So um, always carry a business card, sign up, you get back to the lodge, you go back out, because they signed up, so it's pretty fantastic. Um, and the lessons are only about an hour or so. So you get to goof around for an hour or so. And it also helps you just to be a little safe. So we can also talk about that as well. Um, you do get food. There's a food pass. I remember that. That was kind of cool. I saw that, the accommodations and that. Um, group lessons. You get to meet other people. Don't we love to socialize when you come to Elwyn? You get to know your coworkers. Maybe you exchange numbers or you just engage with each other while you're working or while you're learning. Yes, Matt. No, why are you getting your fifteen dollars? Oh, because you're you're teaching a lesson. $17,500. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. Yeah. Why is it seventy dollars? Because you're you're being um, like a teacher. You're being paid. So why? Because I'll teach you to snow ski. Well, I do that for you. Perfect. That's no. it. You'll save that for me. Perfect. Okay. No. So look how big that mountain no. is. Um, I'm not aware. No. Gosh, I used to know all these things, and I'm so sorry, you guys, for dropping the ball. Um, I used to know how many acres the slopes were, like how many acres, uh, Heavenly South Lake Tahoe. There's a Boulder side and a South Lake Tahoe on the California side. I enjoyed the Boulder side more. It had a better view. Um, gondolas and all that stuff. 
Diamonds, you see the different diamonds. How do I explain that? Is there a way to? Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, so um, go down to, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to go down, just use your arrows. Um, see the Nevada side um, over here by me? Okay, and then to the right it says North Bowl. North Bowl, keep going, keep going to, to the middle. Oh, this is so bad. Right there. So there's one diamonds right there. I know it seems very steep, meaning very um, scary. Like if you're walking down some deep steps or walking up some high steps, but it's not. When you see a one black diamond, you are at a comfortable level of learning to glide or slide or snow ski or even snowboard. Nowadays, there's safer places to snowboard so they don't ink, uh, mix. Like you wouldn't want to go really fast and cool off jumps when someone is skiing right next to you calmly and simply and just enjoying their families. Because if you want to go on jumps and be cool, you don't want to hurt or bother any of the young families that are on the calmer diamonds. Um, I know that those other diamonds are not adding up, are they? Yeah, those are ones and twos, and that's not. Yeah, because the dipper at 2,985 was the biggest. Milky Bowl is where we always had our Olympic awesome runs. So that's at the top. Um, right here. Yep, Skyway Glades, and then 10,040 feet. That's 3,000, I mean, yeah, 10,000 feet. That is the highest when you take the Adventure Peak. That's like a gondola, but there is a ski lift lodge. That's the highest you can go on a chair. And when you ski down, depending on how fast you go, but you would always want to take the first run ski patrolman. It was their job to turn on the machines and, and go up and run all the slopes to confirm that trees didn't fall down. The slopes were groomed safely. It's like um, um, like when we say our, when we're waiting for our access buses, we see those gentlemen out there making sure our freeways are safe. They're out here making sure our mountain slopes are safe. You know, because it's important. So every one of those blue lines, those trails, have to be looked at before they open up the mountain. We have radios and walkie-talkies, like we've seen us before, or cell phones, and we call and we say we're good. Um, yeah, so I know that's really fun. Um, do you guys watch the Winter Olympics? You guys at home, oh, do you guys? Oh, Shannon, look up. Katie, you've seen that? Yeah. Oh, yes, hockey, yep. There may not be um, ice hockey there, but maybe at the lower. <laughs> ice thingy. But uh, ski jumps and all that good stuff or um, slalom races. and uh, it's, it's a blast, you guys. Fun to watch if you're not really interested. The lodges are way down low for a reason. It's actually really entertaining to watch <laughs> snow skiers. But nowadays, they've actually enlarged where the large lodges, you can take a gondola ride. Is there a gondola picture? Other chairs or wondering? No? Oh, darn. Okay. There's um, ski lift chairs, and I think you guys might have seen those before, where they um, you sit on them and they're open, and it really makes people nervous because you are open. But now they have these amazing, they almost look like elevators. You can walk on and you're completely comfortable. There's a little music and the view is beautiful and you get to enjoy the entire mountainside of 10,000 feet up in the air. And then there's a lodge and again, you get to have hot chocolate and there's a menu, maybe grilled cheese like we talked about, right, Tegan? And <laughs> All these other good things, but um, 
Yeah. Okay, so uh, the girls sent in some stuff. I guess our local mountains. I have to put my eyes on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, oh, that's right. Well, Mammoth Mountain. I can't remember, but another mountain closed. Okay, Mammoth Mountain had received 9 to 13 inches of snow in the last 72 hours. Now, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but just while you guys were sleeping the last few days, a foot of snow has been falling. And not only that, but we make, it's called man-made snow. Does anyone at home or here at Ellen, do you guys have an ice maker? At home, you push a button and ice comes out? Do you guys, anyone, y'all awake? Matt, do you have an ice maker in your house? Matt, you have an ice maker? So you drink some uh, with uh, cold water and some ice. Remember, we got to drink water. How many glasses of water do we need, Vanessa? Two. Seven. Seven, seven or so, or as many as we can tolerate. Hydrate, oh, hydrate. Oh, but ice, an ice maker, what I'm trying to get at is with this uh, there this 9 to 13 inches of snow, which is over a foot of snow, um, they, we also make snow, which is a snow blower. It's water. It's a machine, and with that cold air, they know when to come on, and it actually assists with blowing more snow. It's fantastic. So it grooms it, and again, it's, been, it's like a big old ice maker on the mountains. All right, I put my eyes back on. And Big Bear, let's see what happened over there. Big Bear Mountain Resort has received 17 inches of snow since Christmas forecast and calling more over the next few days. Okay, 17 inches. How many feet is that? is that? That's over just under, yeah, just under two feet, so a foot and a half. And for local mountains, you guys need to understand, Big Bear, that's less than an hour and a half away. Jillian, you've been to Big Bear, right? Yeah, I was just there last week. Yeah. Not last weekend, but the weekend before. Yeah. And it was cold? It was cold and there was snow. Yeah. And, um, Do you want to come up? It, or hadn't, it hadn't snowed in a few days. And okay. It was slippery. Slippery. Do you guys know what that means? You guys at home know what that means? Have you guys ever felt like it's slippery I under your ice. feet? Yes. Thank you, Matt. There's ice. So you have to be careful. See, I don't be, I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're so smart. You know yeah, so it's important that you guys explore California in all seasons. We're so fortunate to be able to go from the beach to the mountains within two hours of time frame. I don't know if you guys know that we have so much to offer. Okay, and then December 31st, 2014, it snowed in Orange County, Rancho Santa Margarita. My goodness, can you believe that? It actually snowed. In 2014, not hail, snow. That meant it stuck to the ground. It made, is the ground white if it snows? Yeah. 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 Sometimes your animals, if they're not used to it, they don't know what to think of it. Did you bring your doggie? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you really? Yeah, did, he, did she love it? Oh. Yeah. yeah, sometimes they walk funny. Or you have to put socks on them? Yes. If you want a drive in the snow, you have to look both ways for the deers because they cross in the snow the deers. You're 100 percent right. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make sure you either you have chains I, with you. Because I used to go to Dinker and my um, grandpa Tucker who has a um, had a check and I told him to stop and there's a reindeer. Oh that's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. And then um I'm trying to think of other Things with the snow. Um, in our packets, what were we working on? Can you guys help me with that? Were we working on snowflakes? Oh, you on your packets? In your packets? Snowflake matching? Okay, can I see this real quick? Okay. Is that what you guys are working on? Okay, so as, oh, you have it? Okay, okay. Sorry, Travis, I don't need to take your paperwork. Okay, so in... Okay, so a trip to the snow, like Jillian had mentioned to us. I put my eyes back on. All right, being that it's the month of December and our last few days of the year, a trip to the snow with highlight, oh my gosh, of course, the fresh air. And you also got to remember when you guys get up there, it's thinner air. Um, 
let's see, both the, I mean, the kids were born up there in, uh, in Tahoe, and it was like 7,000 square, or 7,000 square, 7,000 feet in the air, because that's where the height is. And um, the mountains are 10,000. And uh, Bart Memorial Hospital, that's where it was. Okay, um, wear a coat, stay warm. We talked about mittens or gloves. Doesn't matter if you want your fingers, if you're more comfortable or not. Um, long sleeves, cover your elbows. Socks, it's always important to wear socks. My dad was a big fan of carrying an extra pair of socks in the jacket for two reasons. If you fall, because I always fell on my hips. If you fell, um, one, it was a pad. And two, if you were cold, take off the old ones, put on the new ones because snow would get into your binders. The equipment's so much better nowadays. <laughs> Such a good thing. Um, oh my goodness, snow angels. You guys at home, if you're following along in your packets, yes, Katie, you wanna come show us a snow angel? Get over here, come on. Show us a snow angel with your beautiful snow jacket. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all the way up. And down. Good. All right. That is a fantastic snow angel. Stretch out your arms and your back and yeah. carefully back yeah. and forth. <laughs> and like a big jumping jack on the ground of the snow. That is so cool. What about a snowman? During the holiday of Christmas, you can look around here in our room, of course. Andre. You see snowmen. What? Andre. You see snowmen and then... Um, you want to know how you build a snowman, Matt? Yep. Come on over. Thank you. Okay, just a minute. Watch. Oh, watch. Okay, just around. a minute. Walk around. Okay, watch your step, please. Okay, Matt, we need to make one large snowball. Make it. Oh. All right. And then stack it up. Okay, make one more medium-sized snowball. You gotta make three. A snowman. Make it two or three. Maybe just two. No, we'll do two. Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll do two. All right, we'll do two. Perfect. And then it looks like we need like a, a scarf or a jacket. <laughs> kind of just go like this. Around his neck. Okay, I helped you. All right. What about a carrot? What do you? Where do you? I got it on the way. Where does it go? I, I did it. We'll put it on. I did it. And where does it go? On his nose. On his nose. And then what about if I hand you two twigs, two branches? Where do those go? On your pretend snowman. Hey, Matt, I think Vanessa's going to hand you something. Uh, what a... Who is over here? <laughs> no, Go ahead, put on the table. Ta -da. Wow, ta -da. put on the table. Okay, if I handed you two branches, where are you going to put them? Two twigs. Uh, what are they for? The arms, right? Where the hell? Yeah. You need two of them, right? Yeah, two. Okay. And then have creative. Where'd you put the gloves? The gloves are the middle. You put them on too. Oh yeah? Do the gloves go on your ears? Or on your hands? The gloves. Oh, okay. Go ahead, keep describing your snowman. I like that. I think you're doing a great job. What else? What's keeping him warm on his head? Oh, hot. Yes. Yep. And then let's see. Um, the Okay, and then you have the carrot, the two twigs. Oh my goodness, we have two buttons. Where do those go? Buttons. Let me see. Well, you see, it's right there. Oh, no, I'm reading it. You see. Oh. Two buttons. They're oh, circular. Okay. Time. Ah. Yeah. 
Two buttons. All right. And then, where's the carrot? Remember, we talked about that on his. Perfect. And then the scarf. Where's the scarf? Around his neck. Her, around his neck. What color is the scarf? Oh, red and red and white. Yeah, red and white. And then our particular friend also has this fabulous green balloon. Yeah. Well, I think you made a really great snowman. Great job. What? <laughs> oh, for another hand. Okay. Well, we should have done that. You're right. Okay. Oh, ta-da! Okay. Very cool. You are a Bye. Okay. Oh, you're going to take your side. Oh, bye. Okay. Bye, Matt. What I'm actually looking for. Is this the entire packet for this week, you guys? Okay, so you guys at home, when you're looking at your packet, thumb through it, like Matt just made the snowman. Kind of look through some of the um, New Year's resolutions that you can make for the new year, as well as the, um, this year you will try, you know, talk about that with your family, your loved ones, maybe your roommates. We can talk about when you guys come back on Monday and just kind of go through all the fun things that we're going to work on doing. Mm. I will do more of, we always say we're going to do more exercising, mm. right guys? We're going to maybe do more walks, maybe drink more water. What about you, Matt? What are you going to do? What are you going to do more of? Drink more water? Okay. And then what about less of? I'm going to really work less on bubble gum. I eat a lot of bubble gum. Yeah. And then priorities, maybe family. Gonna work on that. <laughs> work. Right, Jillian? Work. I'm gonna work harder for you. I'm gonna do better. I'll do better. And um, oh my goodness, there's so many wonderful colorings. Are you having a good time with the colorings, you guys at home? The staff's been working so hard with these packets. Please don't make paper airplanes into the trash cans. <laughs> really take a minute, look at them, read them, talk about them with your families, make it a priority. Oh, holiday fruitcake. Oh, that looks good. It does? That sounds good to you? What is that? Well, let's. Do you want me to ask you read about? It? Yes, please. Okay. A fruit cake is made of chopped candy or dried fruit, nut, and spices. Fruit cake has been a holiday gift-giving tradition for many years. Wow. I really do enjoy candy, dried fruit, nuts, and spices all separately. That sounds delicious. But you throw it in all together, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Yeah, that's interesting. I do enjoy bread. Okay. Um, well, I, I don't have anything else to, to voice. Um, anything else that we need to go over or, uh, I don't know, to continue to stay safe? Look at this. Do you want to come show them your coloring? Come on. Yeah. Come help me. Come help me. Can I show you all the pictures? Oh, all right. Well, let's display that. I did this by myself. Okay, well, share with our friends at Elwin how hard we're working and continuing to stay safe with our mask over our nose. Uh, Go ahead. You're doing great. I learned this from school, how to do my own um, words and stuff, oh. and I know what a snowman looks like, and I'm a good artist, and I like to, and I know how to paint roses and stuff, because I learned from Deborah and Huntington Beach art class and stuff, so this is cute. Let me show you. This one and I know how to do this counting from school, Western High School, and Berkeley. And word searches, those are easy. <laughs> What's the counting? Show me again. These? Yes, turn it around. Show us again. These are nine. 
Oh, so there's nine masks or hats yeah. and you counted and colored and put them in correctly? My school taught me at Jillian Carey. But we're here, this yes. is here at Elwyn Packet? Yeah. Okay, well, these you guys are, remember to do those. These are, are you fun. enjoying those? I love this stuff because I love Vanessa, Katie, and Julie, who are popular. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. And um, four snowflakes. I did this fun myself because my school taught me, and it's so fun, and I love to learn a What's lot. What's fun about it? What did you match up? You match up these. This. What are those? Snowflakes. Okay. And I match them because it's easy. Why is it so easy? It looks difficult to me. Are they so different? Are they different colors? They're different colors, but my school taught me. What colors are they? Blue, uh, blue, dark blue, and dark purple, light purple. Cool. And I have more. <laughs> one last one? Oh, my God. Papers. And I messed up on this. But I just kind of the different colors, but I have to still work on you it. You can't mess up on artwork. It's your own creativity. Does it look pretty, Carrie? I don't know. I, I think it's fantastic. What does it say on it? Happy New Year. Happy New And I what's in between? What are you wishing everybody a happy New Happy New Year, New Year and making words, drawing a picture of your. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> been in school before, but I can't remember. That's okay. What are you? What's gonna be your goal for next year? What did you do? I do mean Patty to go shopping, shopping for stretchy papers and necklaces, and I choose some water. I know how to. This is the water up up here and down there is the little tears because I'm watching my day. Thank you so much. Bye. And I like you and Carrie Vanessa. Fantastic. Well, thank you for taking the time to share that. That's a big deal. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want to be right here. You are like Carrie Underwood. Okay. Um, I have no idea what else to keep seeing my dad. That's so cute. Okay. Um. Yeah, again, you guys, I just really appreciate all the staff and everyone that's been here regarding um, just uh, this new variance and um, all the, the safety that needs to continue. Um, if you're not feeling well, stay home. If you are, get in here. We need you. We want to see you guys, um, all that good stuff. I really... Um, yeah, I, the, the, we're, we're trying to keep everyone as safe as possible. Honestly, we are still wearing our masks, um, gloves as needed, uh, especially with some of the clients. They like to prefer wearing the gloves. If you guys recall, we'll maybe go on the floor next week and, and say hello. If you guys, and Vanessa, if you don't mind, we'll um, take a little tour and see how they're doing uh, working on the floor. And uh, that some of them wear gloves because when they're grabbing the hooks, it bumps them, and they like that extra protection. Um, and then you'll see that the uh, plastic screens are in between them. They are social distancing. You'll see different masks. Remember, we already shared Katie and you and myself and Vanessa were all wearing different masks. But uh, yeah, I thank you all for tuning in and taking your time to be here. And looking over the packets, if you have ideas, reach out, call our case manager, give us ideas, check with uh, Carmen and Vanessa when you email them. We're always hiring, so please check our website for anything or all things. And again, communicate with our case manager, Jillian. She'll be more than happy to direct you to the right department. And uh, yes, ADP, whoop, whoop. No. <laughs> little selfish pug. But um, again, you guys stay safe and um, happy new year. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Thanks. You guys good? Yay, Carrie. Oh, yay, everybody.